Hello, thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to talk about image denoising using median filtering, but also I would like to come up with a method to prevent the unnecessary image blaring, because when you use median filtering, although it uh, helps denoise the image, it would also blur out other parts of the image. So we have to come up with a metric that uh, would check all the values in the in the in the image all the pixel values and we check them against this metric and if they were able to fulfill that metric that means they're not noise otherwise the, the pixels that are not fulfilling that metric they are noise and the median filter would be applied to them so let's get let's get started and see how this method works okay let's talk about image denoising using a median filter while keeping the image still sharp in MATLAB. One of the most effective way to denoise an image is to use a median filter and run it through the image and blur out the noisy areas on the image. But sometimes only a limited number of pixels carry noise and we don't want to apply the filter to the whole image which would lead to an image that is not as sharp. So what should we do in those cases? For example, Let's look at this noisy image of retina. You could clearly see the speckles on the image and what we want to do is to denoise this image without blurring the whole image. In other words, we want, we want the median filter to only blur out the noise, not the signal. What should we do? Let's first quickly explain the median filters and their application in image processing. Median filtering is a nonlinear digital filtering technique often used to remove noise from an image or signal. The main idea of the median filter is to run through the signal entry by entry, replacing each entry with the median of the neighboring entries. The pattern of neighbors is called the window, which slides entry by entry over the entire signal. Here is how this filtering works. As you can see as the window, this is the window and this is the neighbor and this is, this is the neighboring uh, area around this central point and as the window moves in the image the, the values are replaced by the median values of the neighbors so this is what a median filter does to an image so as you can see one more time the window moves and the output here is the median value of the neighboring values around the central point. This is just a reminder how median filter works. But one of the main applications of the median filter is to use it for image denoising. But one of the, the drawbacks of using this filtering for denoising is the blurring impact that it has on the whole image while trying to blur out the noise speckles. How can we get rid of the speckles but at the same time keep the image sharp? What is the solution to this problem? As you can see here, the image is not as sharp but we want to keep the image as sharp as we can but get rid of the noise or in the image that I showed you guys earlier here. This is the image that I'm going to apply to my algorithm. I want to denoise this image but I don't want to blur the image using the median filter. Let's see what we, what we can do. For this problem we have to first come up with an idea of finding the noise and then implement the median filtering. In order to do this each window would be considered separately and the pixel values falling outside the following range would be regarded as noise where M stands for the mean and S stands for a standard deviation of each window in the image and the pixel value shows the pixel value in the second row and the second column of the window Therefore, if the value of the pixel falls in the range specified above, it is not noise. Otherwise, it is noise and the process of median filtering must be applied to it. 
the coefficient 0.01 in this equation was obtained through trial and error and you could come up with your own coefficient that would fit your own problem. The following results are obtained for the intended image. You can see how much better the denoised version is. The image is denoised but it is also as sharp as possible and it's not blurry. If you apply the median filter without this condition here you would not be able to get it as sharp image as you can see here. As you can see the image has been denoised and the sharpness has been maintained as much as possible. Through choosing other values instead of 0 0.01 here, you would be able to fit the solution to your own specific problem. For the problem here, the coefficient 0 0.01 would work, but you might have to use other values than 0 0.01 for your own specific problem. M would be the mean and S would be the standard deviation of the window and you would check it for each window and you would check it with the value of the pixel. If it's outside this range, it's noise. Otherwise, we would just ignore it and we would not apply the median filter in that specific area. Now, let's also have a look at the code in MATLAB. So this is the code for uh, median filter denoising in an adaptive way so that the uh, image would not be blurred so as you can see first this is the image that is read in and uh, I'm gonna use four loops through all the channels and first I have image n that would contain my original image but is bigger so that I could account for the corners in the image and I have image n1 that would contain the denoised version of the image but it's also the same size as image n so image N1 uh, would contain the denoised version. As you can see, the, the image would come down and I would choose the win window, which would be 3x3, three three, and I would go window by window, pixel by pixel. I would go pixel by pixel and I would uh, examine their value. If it falls between that those values that I show, it's not noise. Otherwise, it's noise. So if it's outside, it's noise. And I would apply the median filtering here. Otherwise, I would just put zero. This would help me later on to process the images e more easily. So I would come down, I would say image N1, any of the elements that are not zero, if they're not zero, that means they are the denoised version. So I would put those values into image N. So I would replace the original values in the original image with the image N1 values that are not zero. So that's how I did it. But you could also do uh, use this coding here, which which is a vectorized way, uh, which is the vectorized way, and it's way faster. And it's image n1, and I would say image n1 anywhere that is zero, replace them by image n, the original image. So this is sort of the opposite way of uh, coding this part of the code. So as you can see, uh, and then you would show the images. And that's the simple way to code this problem and to just keep your image sharp as well as denoised. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked the video and you were able to get something out of it. If you liked it, I would appreciate it if you would uh, subscribe to my channel and also share it with your friends. Thank you so much and have a nice day.